We're at Empire Manufacturing in Hoddesdon, Hertfordshire. Now that's easy for me to say. Not so easy was me to find something famous from Hertfordshire. Uh, well, Colin, uh, Lewis Hamilton's from Hertfordshire, so he's fairly famous. <laughs> okay, that, that sort of told me, didn't it? Okay, <laughs> Lewis Hamilton, that's all we could, fi all we could find. But um, of course yourselves, Empire Manufacturing, you're famous for your turning work mm -hmm. in Hoddesdon and around the UK and overseas now as well. But what sort of machines and work are you doing? Uh, well, predominantly we've always been star sliding head machines. Uh, we do also have a CMZ fixed head machine uh, with gantry loader, and uh, we've also got a VMC milli machine as well. Got you. Okay, so I think let's have a quick look at some of the components, shall we? Yeah, sure. Sorry. Um, so, as you see, mostly sort of turn parts. Um, we have a little bit of milling on there, yeah. um, got some slotting on there, uh, all done in one operation on the star machines. So. No need for second ops. Um, so really giving you a lot of flexibility, the, the star machines? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, to be able to do it in one op yeah. obviously saves us a lot of time, set up and uh, yeah. deliver quicker to customers as well. Now this looks like a mill part to me. Yeah, it, it pretty much is a mill part, but it still comes off the star. Um, it's actually off our new star, um, the SW20. Um, it's allowed us to do that in one op complete. Um, even previously on the stars, we wouldn't have been able to do it complete. We would have had to have put it on a mill afterwards um, because of the length of it. but. Yeah, now, one operation, and of course that means it's all automated as well. We're running overnight. Excellent. Right, Stuart, I know key to your business as well is not only in machines, but investing in other products, and we're going to go and look at those later, yeah. you know, other products in the machine shop. Mm. But I understand you've got a new recruit, and you've let him loose on a star, the new star, so I'm going to go and have a chat with Jamie. Yeah. Now, firstly, I've been told of because it's James, not Jamie. Is that correct? That is correct, Colin, yeah. Now, you are the newest recruit here, but they've obviously got great faith in you because they have let you loose on their latest investment, the SW20. Can you tell me a bit more about it? I mean, first of all, balance turning? Yeah, so uh, basically we can turn on platinum one and platinum three. Uh, so we can do a rough cut and finish cut at the same time. Uh, it saves a lot of tool wear on like, the finish size and it helps us make bigger cuts in one go. And also, also helps in consistency of the part, uh, maintaining tolerances, and it's obviously faster as a result. So very simply, reduce cycle time and a lot more stable. Yeah, that is correct, yeah. And also with uh, Swarf as well, it helps chip the Swarf, so we have less Swarf issues. Now, tell me about Path 3. Path 3 yeah, is our second platen, so, and we have uh, three driven units on there, so we can, uh, we can turn and thread at the same time on, with both platens, and also it can be used independently, so it can maybe mill while Path 1 drills. So it helps reduce cycle times and... Yeah, absolutely. So again, reduces cycle times. And now it's also got a full Y-axis. Yeah, uh, the sub-spindle has uh, Y-axis and uh, four driven units on the back, so we can do off-centre drilling, off-centre milling, pretty much anything, really. Excellent. So it really gives you that flexibility, a lot more efficient, quicker cycle times. Now, I mentioned new investment. We also mentioned earlier about investment by Empire Manufacturing. So let's go and have a chat about some other investments in the company. Stuart, thanks for the opportunity to be here today at Empire Manufacturing. You've got some fantastic machines here. You've got some stars. You've obviously got some uh, lead well, which obviously Colin's going to talk to us about, and CMZ. But from a software point of view, why have you invested in Factory Wiz? Uh, hi, Mark. Well, uh, to start with, we, uh, it became quite apparent to us that we had an idea in our heads of what the machines were doing out here on the shop floor, and uh, that wasn't always the case. Um, so for us, we really wanted something that was going to give us uh, real information and um, allow us to deal with facts and uh, know what was actually happening out here. But does it offer you sort of lights out engineering as well? Um, yeah, it does. Uh, we always try and run lights out where we can, um, but it also helps with if the job has to run, uh, whereas before sometimes I'd have to come back of an evening or a weekend to make sure that it, it was still running. Um, now I can check it on my phone um, or on my laptop at home and as long as it's still going, then uh, yeah, I can enjoy the rest of my afternoon or whatever I'm doing. <laughs> and how does that benefit your customers? Um, well, obviously it means that we can uh, deliver product, products on time um, and that there's no surprises for us and uh, hopefully then uh, no surprises for them either. Obviously you guys are very busy, but how did you come to Factory Wiz? How did you find it? Um, it was actually an MTD video that I saw. Um, I didn't really know anything like that existed originally. Um, I saw that video, um, became interested in it, and, uh, and then I went and uh, seeked them out at Mac um, last year and uh, had a little chat with Ben and he explained it a little bit more in depth to me. And um, yeah, after uh, seeing what it could do, I um, thought it would be a big benefit to our company and uh, we went with it. So how has Factory Wiz improving your production here? 
Um, well, like I said, it's allowing us to deal with facts, so we can monitor the runs of different jobs. Um, it highlights if a job's not running so well, so then we can address the situation and, uh, and get it running back to full efficiency. Stuart, so as Collins has said, is that you're continually expanding and investing. Now, you've invested in this Mitutoyo vision system, but why? Um, well, we're starting to get more complex components coming through, um, so it's initially to allow us to do um, more complex stuff. Uh, we had a job a little while ago where we was finding it difficult to measure absolutely everything um, with any real certainty. So this gives us conf confidence uh, to take on more difficult work. And the type of customers that you're um, bringing into the company now, do they demand this type of inspection? Um, yeah, a lot of them do more and more now. Um, obviously anything for sort of aerospace, automotive, things like that, it's all very, very important. And uh, to find out that something's wrong after it's gone out the doors too late, we need to um, get it done before it goes out. Um, so it's, it's limited damage. There's quite a few systems on the market from different manufacturers, but why did you opt for the Mitutorial products? Um, yeah, well, we looked at a few different systems. Um, for what we wanted, uh, this machine was the most versatile for us. It allowed us to do um, as, as much as we could uh, within this price range. Um, and also a big part of it was Mitutoyo support. Um, having gone up there and, uh, and see the guys and meet them, speak to them, um, it was very evident that they would support us all the way through if we purchased one of their machines. So you've got some training coming up with Mitutoyo, haven't you? Uh, yes, I have. I'm, uh, I'm going up there soon, actually. Uh, I'm going to go on their three-day training course um, up in Coventry. Uh, so, again, that will uh, give us the confidence that I can, uh, I can check the parts and I'm doing it correctly. Stuart, thanks very much indeed. Thanks a lot, Mark. A big thanks to Stuart and the guys at Empire Manufacturing. They are a great example of investing not only in the machines, but other processes within a machine shop to keep them ahead of the competition. So thanks very much, guys. Hope you enjoyed the show, and we will see you next time.